Imagine getting everyone round and, and this is what you played Yeah. Together. Come on, you can bloody reach that. Oh, she's gone. Hello everybody and welcome back to Worst, Worst Games thing. Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. My name is Ben. My name is Peter. Hello. Hello. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Why? Oh, because of the game you're playing and the ratings it has received. The game I'm playing? Yeah, indeed, as one of our two roles, The Victim. Which, by the process of elimination, means that you must be the game's master. Yeah. Which means I've brought along the game I'm quite excited for you to play. Yeah. Uh, and some facts about it in this hot and fresh science facts box. I'm amazed you're even picking it up. It's so warm. Oh. Bloody, I didn't realize I told you to wear your mittens. It was so hot that it immediately burnt off all of the nerve endings on my fingers and I couldn't feel how hot it was anymore. So now you can go do crimes and they'll they'll, yeah. not, they'll not get your fingy prints. Mm -hmm. Fingies. Um, talking of crimes, PS4, Fort Boyard. It looks like a bloody crime. Doesn't it? Who did that? Don't know. It's actually just here. Sure? Like, we've oh, got yeah, a sorry. physical copy that someone sent in. Who did that? Who did that? Who... Who did that? Who, who did it? Who is it? Well, I'll tell you all about it shortly. Um, you're aware of the show, I'm sure. I've, I've, I don't think I've watched it. Oh, haven't you? I'm very oh. un unfamiliar with it. I can't wait to tell you about it. I can't wait to hear about it and not watch it. Yeah, some of you will be aware of the show and some of you won't. I'm going to give you all the facts. Should we play it? If I have to. Right, here we go. Oh, mm. All right. should I start with that? Or, uh, uh, do, you want, do you want an update or do you want it unpatched? I'm sure uh, that there have been some very important updates, even a, a, a mere days ago. You know, the latest version may have just come out, but we could try without updating. I'm going to start with that. I'm going in. Oh, gamble. Look at it. Look at the buoyant. There it is. That's the Fort Buoyant floating through the ocean. It's amazing. Mm. There's just lots of balloons. At the, well, you tell me. I don't want to get out of myself. Yeah, no. Lots of, lots of inflatables. Do you have any, even though you've, I know you've not seen it, but do you have a, a rough idea of the kind of thing that Fort Boyard is or not really at all? Is it, is Jungle Run for adults? Yeah. And there might be a tiger? Yes, correct. Wow, look at the water flow through. The underneath yeah, it's of the... just sort of the Will you maintaining stop being its, so loud? Maintaining its flow. Well, I'll tell you first about the game. Yeah, please and do. Let me warn you now. It's getting, <laughs> it's getting louder and louder. It's getting louder. Let me warn you now. There is precious little information about this game on the internet, even though it's a fairly recent PS4 game. Yeah. And other platforms too. It's still getting louder. However, there is a lot of information about the television program. Okay. So I'll rattle through what little I know about the game. Was it presented by a bald man, the television show? Uh, a bald man? Well, it wasn't, although okay. did, you'll be surprised by some of these facts. Fort Boyard, the game, is a mini game collection developed by Appeal and published by Microids in 2019 for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. PC? Um, oh, there we go. Turning it down even further. A little bit better now. As required. Immediate second fact. The game is based on the adventure game show of the same name in which players completed a range of challenges in order to win a cash prize either for themselves or for charity. Or for charity. Oh. It depends what charity. What nation you... Because uh, it was in a number of different countries, Fort Boyard. Is Fort Boyard a French thing? It is, right. yes. Uh, in the UK, you earn money for yourself, but apparently in most countries it was for charity. There are about three countries where it was for... You just win it, and everywhere else they gave it away. England! 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 We're the biggest charity in Europe anyway. Yeah, please help we? us out. We're not in Europe anymore. Do you think we, you need... We all paddled. <laughs> yeah. And we went a bit closer to the United States. We did. Do you think... I don't I don't know if you need the training or not. Um, Do you want me to just go on an adventure? I think you'll work it out. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready for me to begin? I think so. Are you ready for me to begin? I don't know if there's going to be an opening. In fact, I do know what's about to happen. This is... 
Oh. Which is weird. Yeah. I don't know what they said. Mm. They might not be ready. They might not have even answered yet. They still haven't answered. Oh. Okay, okay right, they yeah. do answer in the end. We should introduce, introduce we should. our friends as well before I go into the fort. Mm -hmm. From left to right to left, we've got Duck Manchinko, Brian Bumblepiss, Scandal Penguin, Captain Catfuse, and, and Billy, Billy Ray, Ray Walrus. Walrus. They're all here. You're there. There I am. Ready to compete. Actually, which one is you? There's two of you. Oh, we're ready to install version 1.01. .01. I'm not ready. No, okay. Well, if there's so, a game breaking bug, then, uh, oh, choose. That's me. Choose you. I mean, that's the fairest that's you. of them all. Yeah. That's me. And where's Ashton? And that's there you. she is. Why are you in here twice and why am I in here twice? Not What's sure. That about? Yeah. Could they really not make more than two characters? There's only two people on Earth who can truly face Fort Boyard, and it's me and you. And so they had to yeah. just replicate us twice. Yeah. Bloody hell, James Jenkins Gandalf is back. Gandalf has in arrived. Again. Yeah, James Jenkins is here. Oh, is it not voice acted? They think they could seize my treasure, but I have a little surprise. And each of them will be subjected to various challenges. Each time they succeed, they'll receive a key. If they obtain four keys, they'll be granted access to the treasure room. But they're kidding themselves if they think they'll win those four keys. Mwahaha! Let's start things off nicely, nicely with Mega Gaff. Mega Gaff? What's that? Not sure. Mega Gaff. Uh, was this in the original show where they go on hop? Oh my god, it's vibrating. Well, Definitely not in the UK run. Um, it, apparently, I think it's still going in France. Um, right. Even it was popular in the 90s in the UK, and I think it might still be running. So maybe they have more high-tech challenges now. This is a terrible instruction as well. I don't know if that's R1, increase or power, R2 no. that it's pointing at, and thumbstick. Not a lot of controls there. Um, Cross the threshold of Fort Boyard and complete the challenges. Enter Fort Boyard and take up the challenge with more than 10, more than 10 activities. Whoa! 11 activities that combine action and party games. Endurance, dexterity and perseverance will be your best assets for, com for collecting Boyard coins. That's a cryptocurrency, isn't it? Boyard coins? Yeah. Oh my God. Fort Boyard as if you were there. <laughs> I feel like I'm really Do you feel there. like you're there? Look at all the red crosses. Oh, you escaped them and you got pushed back in. I feel like I'm... How come you can... Okay. Um, how come I can... Leave the area? I don't know. I thought it would be an invisible wall, but it, it's not. Oh, it's, a, it's doing a call of duty. Oh, oh God, you just get forced just back in. Back. Where's the last one? Mega gaff. The, the green arrow is telling me. Oh, well, hang on. I couldn't see it from all the way out there. Doing a great it's not, job. It's not easy, I tell you that much. I'm going to earn the money that I'm not giving to charity. I like that there's a little rubber ring underneath for you to, just in case you fall. Yeah. It's safety first at Fort Boyard. Don't want to fall on that rock hard. I what? You missed that. It just said you win, and I, <laughs> I, I don't think I even touched the key in the end. Right. So um, the story of Fort Boyard, I yeah. might have got this written down, but I'll tell you. The of idea course. was that a whole team of people, not just one Ben Potter on, right. a, on a mega... This, here's the team. Uh, they would arrive at Fort Boyard, owned by Boyard. What's going on here? This is a very extensive You Have One. Boyard Cola Boyard Wash. They would arrive at Fort Boyard, oh, which was a fort floating out in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Boyard had a load of money or gold coins in his fort right. and he would give you various challenges to earn time to collect coins yeah. uh, and then you, you would take home money or give it to charity and there were tigers. Um, but it was a lot like the crystal maze as I'll tell you in, in a few moments when I give you the final fact about the video game. What is this? Uh, this is Rodeo car, Dino. This is car Wars. Right. Oh it runs great. I'm looking for two. Poule. Hang on, I'll have a look in a second. Vola something. Yeah. It's going really well so far. The guy is not doing a very good job of stopping me. No. Bonk. What does that say? Vola. I don't know. Could be volavants. It doesn't say volavants. Delicious. But some nice chicken volavants, yeah. Yeah. Need this one. No, uh, that's one. God, it takes a little while to stop. Pilchard seven. Boyard. Maybe that's the dad. Yeah. Is he called Pilchard Boyard? He could be. The fort is owned by Pilchard Boyard. I have one. Oh, well done. Again. Turns out maybe I should go and seek my fortune in Fort Boyard. In, in medium mode. Yeah, 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 I've got two keys. 
Look at those. Look at you, you did great. Look at those losers. Yeah. Showing it to all the losers who who aren't actually playing. Big losers. They can't oh, they're believe all doing it. They are gutted. Rounds like, of applause. Oh, well done. So you're competing against these four, seemingly, <laughs> rather than them being on your team. Originally, it was much like the Crystal Maze. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm going to tell you about it in Impressive. a minute. Impressive. They beat Car Wars. <laughs> they... These kids sure are skilled, but I have more than one trick up my sleeve. Oh, yes. Off we go. On to Safari. That should keep them busy. Safari? What are the odds that this is not going to be anything like a Safari? Water pistol. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll give you the final fact about the game, and then go we'll on. learn all about the show. Okay. According to Wikipedia, there are... How many? You can guess. How many different video games based on Fort Boyard? And when I say different, I mean not just this came out on four different platforms. I mean there have been God, there's a tiger. A number of different releases. There are, th there are three. There are sixteen. <laughs> Whoa. Listed Fort Boyard games on Wikipedia. You're telling me I could rank them? This doesn't seem. Yeah, so. could rank them actually. I don't know how accurate that information is, but that's what Wikipedia says. Oh my God. Okay, well he's gone. Do I need to go pick up water? Is that how I this? I guess works? you have to go to the green glowy thing. Oh, it's gone into third person. It's a little. Tiger doesn't seem particularly cross with you. No, okay, now I've got that. What do I do with this? Uh, take it to the other end. Can it splosh out? I don't know, that's a great question. You say Ooh. I'm competing with the others, but uh, they're, they're not playing. Well, they're not now, now, uh, no. Not now, no. <laughs> not now, now. But, uh... In the context of this video game, I assume they will only ever compete with me if I have more than one other player playing at the same time. Yeah. You know, with a control, do uh, you have to drive up the stairs or just take it there? Oh. Oh. Oh, you can squirt it in the tube. What are, am I doing it? Why does it... Huh? Wait, what's happening? What? Is that... Yeah? Is it working? Does it only do it... You can't hold it? No. Am I out of water? What What the What the bloody hell is this? Or do you shoot? No, I don't know. Is it oh, yes, it's it going, going up. up. Yeah. But I have to keep pressing. Oh, you can mash it. Okay, sure. Right, I am I am now out. So I've got to go do it again. Oh, this sucks, man. I don't think I'm going to do this one in time. Unless I can't see anything behind me. I wish I could. Yeah. Right, I'm going to tell you all about okay, the show. Tell, tell me about the show while I... Take a bloody driver's lesson. Set and filmed on the real fortress of the same name. Whoa! On the west coast of France, the original French version of the show was created. Oh, I didn't like that. It's a mad tiger. The original French version of the show was created by Jacques Antoine, who also came up with the Crystal Maze and Treasure Hunt, which were both big. Oh wow! So. I didn't win that one. Big adventure game shows in the 90s. Crystal Maze, of course, its reputation precedes it. Um, and indeed, I think the Crystal Maze was um, designed <laughs> because uh, on the year on the year where they wanted to shoot Fort Boyard, it might have been the first year they wanted to shoot it, uh, the fort was being um, refurbished. Mm -hmm. And so they couldn't do it on location. And so he came up with a different, very, very similar show that could be shot in a studio instead. Right. Um, but, you know, it's all very similar. You go into rooms, you do little tiny challenges mm -hmm. with water or whatever else, and uh, then you get to earn some time for the final challenge. So it's, it's a very similar show. Um, and in fact, Richard O'Brien, who presented, was it Richard O'Brien? Yeah. Um, who presented The Crystal Maze, hosted the pilot episode of Fort Boyard. Um, right. But did not become the permanent presenter for it. Uh, what the f what the oh. bloody hell is this? Is that game over? No. Okay. Do you have to grab a bucket while you're underneath? Did it say press X? Yeah. What? What is, what is this? I have like no instructions at all. I seem to remember this game actually. That they would you would have to run with bucket and they would fall over and end it with a bucket on their head. You know, a face full of water. Um, the the instructions they give you beforehand is is absolutely <laughs> horrible. Yeah, non-existent. Am I winning? I get real um, sort of Xbox Connect vibes graphically from this. Yeah. Now obviously you're playing with a controller, but it just looks like something that you would play with the Connect. Imagine getting everyone round and, and this is what you play. Today. Yeah. Come on, you can bloody reach that. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> um. 
Fort Boyard is lose. It's the most exported French TV Jesus format. Christ. And it's the fourth most exported adventure style game show format in the world after wow. Wipeout, Fear Factor, and Survivor. Okay. Mm. Um, Treasure Hunt, which was the other game show that the guy who made this came up with, was a really interesting one. I vaguely remember that, or it might have even been reruns of it, on uh, like Channel 4 when I was a kid. They would have a helicopter right. and they would fly around an actual area of Britain doing this like giant treasure hunt. They would have someone who was like in a library on, on the radio solving clues and like looking up maps and stuff saying like, oh, I think you need to go to Potter Hall over there. And they would fly to this like stately home and land and be running around trying to do treasure hunting. And occasionally they would have got the clue wrong. And so they've just landed a helicopter in this like actual location somewhere in Britain. Mm. And they're like, Wait, why, are you, why have you landed a helicopter on my land? What are you doing here? So it's very strange. That is weird. Just a giant playground of a, of a game show. God, what Judgment. is this? Catch the blue spheres before they Move hand, catch sphere. Okay. God, where are you? I don't In know. In the context of a fort. He said that I'd go to the dungeons and keep Mr. Boo company, whatever right. that means, if I lose. Ready? No. <laughs> oh god. How we... Wait, so it doesn't even snap to columns specifically, it's just a whole arc of movement. I got one. Now I've got a third key. Is that it? And now am I now a different one. Oh. oh no, okay, this guy's going now. No, you control me again. Him. Yeah, I was controlling him. Oh. What? You win. This is awful. It is, like, isn't it? It, it's, it doesn't explain anything and it like doesn't really work either. No. The mechanics of this are, is your hand in the right place? The ball will land on your hand and then <laughs> you have to press X to grab it. So who won? Did I did I lose? Possibly. Joralex. They do yeah. really good condoms. They do. <laughs> Sedlex. So, so he's the, are we him now? As I say, on the show, it was a team of like four or five people, but in some of the games, you were competing, weren't you? Definitely. She just you were fighting shook, against someone. She just shook her head going, and then went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it means. Which team am I on? Am I on a team? Apparently, we need to solve the fort riddle. Oh, okay. To get through to the end. That's, yeah, that's, you're near the end now. Okay. So you might have to have another round on medium mode and hope you get some different mini games. Oh, I don't know. The first two were easy. The last two were just bad. Well, yeah. Because they didn't explain them properly. No. And that's... the buttons didn't work. I guess it's a bit like Fort Boyard, though, is in that they would they would go through a door not knowing what was behind it, and then they would have to work out what the hell they're even supposed to do. Dino Did Rodeo. Did you ever do Dino Rodeo on, on it with the dinosaurs? Not that, that I remember. But as I say, it went on for many, many years in France and possibly is still going to this day. Um, so all I need to do is recover balance and hit a ball. Dino road? What on earth? Are you about to get on that? Like a bucking... It is, it's a mechanical yeah. ball. Okay. What is going on? Oh my god. I'm off already. Th that classic Fort Boyard minigame. Dino Rodeo. Di Dino Rodeo. Yeah. Bonk. Okay. The cast of the UK version of the show included main host Melinda Messenger, Jacques and Jules, who escorted the teams around the fort in the original French version and almost all of the international versions, um, Geoffrey Bailden as the professor who presented players with riddles, and Doctor Who and Little Britain star Tom Baker, who, oh. who replaced the professor in series five as the imaginatively named Captain Baker. <laughs> Good. Um, Boyard himself in the UK, the <laughs> malevolent master of the fort, was played by known murderer Leslie Grantham. Oh, known murderer. Known murderer. I'll tell you about his murder, what he done in a minute. Okay, good. Um, he did a murder. Good. And then and then presented a television program. Immediately after. No. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, avoid the double reaper by ducking and jumping at the right moment. Okay. Duckle jump. Yes. Sorry, tri trickle jump. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. You're playing as you now. It's me. It looks like I'm competing with... Who's that? 
I'm not sure who that is. Oh, are you, are you moving that? No. Why did it slightly twitch and then start moving? That was weird. Is it... Who's this, who's this old man? Is I'm not sure. It is like an old man, isn't it? He's so he's in so much shadow, and our TV's a bit dark as well. I can't really make out his face, but... Oh, it, bloody hell. Oh, that's annoying. That If it hits you, you... You then wobble. Yeah, you've got... Right, so he's dead. You're frozen. He's you get just stun locked. I win because my opponent has Fell been off. knocked unconscious. Yeah. He Cage. didn't just fall off. He, he, could, <laughs> yeah, that man he was collapsed. out cold. He's like snoring. Oh man, that's not good. Right, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, here we go, yeah. Leslie Grantham was best known for his portrayal of Dirty Den Watts in EastEnders. Okay. That was also after the murder. Okay. Uh, while posted to West Germany with the British Army at age 18, he attempted to rob a taxi driver by threatening him at gunpoint and demanding money. In a struggle between the two men, Grantham shot the driver, who died from a gunshot wound to the head. Jesus. Yeah. Grantham was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in imprisonment. However, while at Lay Hill Prison, he performed a number of plays for inmates and members of the public, and after being paroled in 1977, having served 10 years of his sentence, took up acting professionally. Ah. Oh. Love a happy ending, don't That's you? nice, isn't it? That's nice. Uh, in May 2004, a Sunday newspaper printed photographs of Grantham exposing himself and masturbating to a woman via, oh. a, <laughs> via a webcam Come on. from his EastEnders dressing room. And another woman claimed that during a pantomime performance, Grantham had pleasured himself on a webcam in his dressing room while dressed as Captain Hook. <laughs> I just hope he used the right hand. Um, so, yeah, but f there was a period of time where he'd, um, you know, Made amends, yeah, and um, played Boyard for four four seasons. Yeah, he was replaced in season five, perhaps due to some of this. Um, for God's sake, Leslie! Yeah, Leslie, please. More challenges. Yeah, and I go again. Well, wait until you hear. Well, I do actually have one more fact about the game. I just remembered. I've got a speed run. Boyard is wrong. <laughs> and um, wait until you hear how fast some people have completed easy mode. Uh, in fact, have a guess. What do you think the speed run for easy mode is? Ten minutes. Yeah, it's eight minutes and twenty-four Bloody seconds. Hell. There are only six uh, six times posted on, on the thing, though. So um, you could potentially, well, you could easily get into the top seven by just finishing the game. Yeah, the top seven. Yeah, that's what I aim for in life. Mm -hmm. There's still one final challenge: the Fort Riddle. Mwahahaha. -ha -ha. All right. So the way this would work in the for a TV show is that they would have been picking up words along the way, and it's um, it's like word association. So you, you might the words you might have been collecting uh, could have been um, uh, pizza, mm -hmm. d um, grass, and like other things. And th the solution you're looking for is cutter because cutter can come after them all. Okay. Uh, or it could be a word that it could come before the word. So whether they've translated those exact... Is it, is it going to give you a series of words or is it just going to be... I've got to grab some boyards apparently. Right, okay. Oh, here you go, yeah. Period, sun, ring. Oh yeah, and because it's multiple choice. Moon. Moon... Uh... What's happening now? Uh, they spell out the answer on the on the floor. That's how they how you say what you want your answer to be. Was that was that not correct? No. Hang on. Cir circle, sun, ring, circle, wheel. Well, it's not jewel, and it's not. Is it circle? Common. I don't think this is words it can come. But yeah, I think it is circle. I don't think it's words it can come before or after, it's just all of those things are circular, aren't they? Including a circle. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah, that's so the answer was circle, even though one of the clues was circle. Right, all your friends or possibly enemies... Oh, doing that by itself, yeah, is it? Yeah, it is doing that by They're itself. They're all gathering gold coins now from the... from there. And they would scoop up as much as they could. Yeah, I'm doing that. 
um, and there's a time timer running, and when the time runs out, the tigers will be released into the room. That doesn't feel legal. It doesn't, but. Sadly, they never ever ever released. Well, I maybe they did. I never saw them release a tiger when someone was in the room because this door comes down as well, this portcullis, so you can get locked in there. Um, oh, right. Should I try and get locked in? Yeah, potentially. Oh, just bumped into him. Okay. I mean, again, I don't know if anyone ever did get locked in because Melinda Messenger would be at the door saying, Five seconds, get out, get out, get out! And they'd run God. and then the tigers would come, but. The, the main reason I occasionally watched Fort Boyard as a kid was because there were tigers in it and I always hoped one day that the tigers would get someone and right. I never saw them do that. And it never happened. Right, you've got five seconds. Melinda is losing her mind. She can lose it. Yeah. The tigers are, they've got a taste for meat. You win. Okay, you can't get locked in. Look, the, I have been it's locked come in. down. I was locked, I was still in there. Yeah. Uh, what does this mean? What's this, is this now? how much money you've got? 5,000 coins. Okay. Which will be translated into local currency in the, in the show. No tigers. And we know they've got a tiger model. I tell you what, as Fort Boyard goes, as adaptations of Fort Boyard goes, this is rubbish. That was absolutely baffling. They've taken all the, the bare bones of it and rem scrubbed off any of the interest. There was briefly a tiger in one of the smaller mini games and it did almost nothing. And and this is it. And the solution to the clue circle was circle, which is great. The just the presentation alone yeah. is really confusing because mm -hmm. there's a real lack of feedback yeah. or or explanation about what what you're actually doing and what's going on. He doesn't speak, even your character doesn't That's go it. like the... <gasps> or you know, make any exertion noises. Rubbish. Yeah, they they've all got some pretty French names in there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll um I'll give you the reviews now. Okay. I could only find two critical reviews for this on the internet. Right. So Every other one was very positive. Yes, indeed. What do you think um, the average score was? One of them was for Switch and one of them was for PS4. Uh, are you combining or are you asking me to give the average for each? Uh, no, I've, I've just, yeah, I've combined them. Even though they're not like for like, well, maybe they are. I, I imagine the game was equally crap on all, all platforms. Um, I think it got a review average of 40%. 17 and a half percent. 17? Yeah. Uh, Jeez. Digital Fix gave the highest score. They said, the few people in the center of that tight vein diagram who decide to buy Fort Boyard the game will be disappointed when they play it as it's far more simplistic and short than the legions of better party games out there. Right. What did they give it? Uh, this is the highest. Yeah. They gave it 30%. Um, 20%. So 20%, so that's the highest review. Yeah, and if you did some quick maths, you could work out what Nintendo Power gave it. Their review oh. is translated from French. To Don't ask me to do math. <laughs> to sum up, we can say that Fort Boyard on Nintendo Switch is the closest thing to a scan than to video game pleasure. Right, I mean, there's no way I could have predicted the, the language there. That no. Um, what do you think they gave it numerically? Come on! 10%. Uh, 15%. 15. Yeah. That is shocking. Now, I'm really disappointed because I uh, looked up this game a couple of weeks ago, actually. I nearly picked it for a previous video and I didn't in the end. But when I quickly looked at Fort Boyard, I don't know if it was maybe exclusive to the PC version, but um, the person who was playing it got to make their own team. Oh. And they made their team name out of like a pre-selected like <laughs> list of two words that you can combine. Okay. So it was like, you know, the the action warriors or, the, or, or you know, you could be the, the adventure heroes or something. Oh. I wanted to see you make a team, but you can't Maybe. even do that on console. This one's going to be quite hard on medium, I think. Oh, you're on medium now. I, I am, yeah. I didn't notice that. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, so you're just playing the same games again as well? You're not even different playing order. New, well, different order. So completely fresh. Yeah. Oh, it's the indeed. old man. It's the old man he's playing. Okay, good. Well. Ooh. Okay, you don't just stay doing it in this one. No, uh, no disrespect to the memory of that taxi driver, but 
I really wish that uh, Leslie Grantham had killed this game. Whoa! Uh, that's what I wish he'd done. It's a little bit of disrespect to the taxi driver. It is driver. a disrespect to the taxi driver, but um, you know, we've also disrespected Leslie Grantham today, so uh, probably balances just, it out. Just, just as big of an injustice, that. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying so it balances it out, hopefully. I'm not saying, oh, we're really bad for making fun of that guy who murdered and committed sexual crimes. Um, so. Oh! <laughs> Bonk. That's that medium mode great. for you. You lose. Just absolutely wiped <laughs> out. Bloody hell. Yeah. Plainly, that was really bad. Was yeah. Yeah. It made him I don't want it swear a lot. I don't like the end it. There. Fort Boyard, more like Fort Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Get. Yeah. Yeah. More. F more like. F yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Did we? Thanks. Um. We didn't plug a single thing, did we? No, no. we didn't actually. I skipped right. Through. I was so excited to get to the murder <laughs> fact that uh, we didn't ask Rules Boss either. Rules Boss, did we? Did we plug Patreon today? Visibly. The oh. answer is no, yeah. regardless. Patreon.com forward slash Team Triple Jump. Get access to future episodes of Worst and Weirdest Games Ever. Before anybody else, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. We will. Bye. Bye.